Hey, KIC here, and welcome to Alchemist Awakening. This is a brand new game in early access by Osiris Games. By the time you see this video, it probably will be available on Steam and other fine retailers. So this one's going to be early access, so this game is not fully ready yet. It is still in development. Um, I've noticed one or two little issues I've had with it. Um, but, you know, that kind of happens when game is brand new, things aren't really fully baked yet, you know, that just kind of comes with the territory. Considering I play a lot of early access games, it's not really a big deal, I don't really care. Anyway, this is, um, I don't want to say it's a Minecraft clone, because I think that's, one, being unfair, and two, being disingenuous, but it does certainly harken back to Minecraft a little bit when you look at the way the game looks. Not entirely, of course, but a little bit. One thing, just so you're aware, mouse inverting is not in the game at this moment. I've asked the developer if that's something that he can add, or one of the developers. I'm not 100% sure now if it's uh, just one gentleman or if this is a team. I I'm, I'm, can't remember now, and I am terribly ashamed that I have to admit that, but you know how it goes sometimes. Um, I have asked for mouse inverting, so we'll see if that happens. Anyway, we are at the beginning of the game here, where essentially this is the tutorial part of the game, and obviously I'm basically picking up a bunch of stuff right now. I'm harvesting all of this just with a good old-fashioned left click. You can see that meter on the bottom right there. That's how much harvesting power I appear to have. This cat, by the way, this mountain lion that's following me around, that's my cat, so uh, don't worry about that one. That cat is going to come in handy here in the near future, I believe. Let's go into our inventory. You can see you kind of collect stuff as you go. This is where things start to get interesting and where it diverges from other games. And I gotta admit, I kind of like this. So I've collected a bunch of stone, right? And then right away, you can pretty much pick the type of item you want to make out of it. In this case, it's going to be different variants of the material you picked up, but just the same, just like that. All I have to do is click a, basically the, the type of stone I want, and then boom, I am getting bricks out of it. There's no crafting, there's no anything being done. And that's not a condemnation on other games where that is something you do. It's just, that's the way this game works, and I think that's kind of cool. Just like that, boom, we have an oven. So the next thing on the list is going to be to make... Ooh, you know what? Before we do anything else here, let me... um, Let's interact with this guy. We're going to put a bunch of wood in there, and the reason for that will become more apparent in the near future. But right now, we need to harvest another tree because the next item on the list is to make a windmill. Windmill is kind of cool. You might have noticed that I kind of made something in the general pattern of an item. That's where I think you can say some of the StarCraft. StarCraft? Did I say StarCraft? Holy cow, Minecraft inspiration comes from. That would be my cat. Hi, thanks. I don't want to type slash you, but I just did. All right, cat. Cat on the screen and cat in my lap. Both are a pain. All right, here. Where are you going? Oh, fine, see you later. I hope that wasn't too loud. Let's harvest some fire. That's right, I'm going to harvest some fire. Now, again, that will become a little more apparent momentarily, but for right now, um, hmm, that's what I'm looking for right there. Yes, perfect. We might need that before too long. Let's switch to this guy so I can harvest some more. Here we go. We got 12 seconds worth of fire. And then we also need to go back into our inventory here because we're going to pick some wood. We're going to take, uh, nope, let's get the spruce. We don't need oak. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with spruce. I like spruce. Spruce is a, a good, nice, good wood to use. And then we're going to build a windmill. Now I haven't shown you this and you're just potentially wondering, wow, how is it that I know to do all these things? Well, I really don't. I've, ooh, this may not work too. Actually, I'm not 100% sure. We're going to find out. I'll show you in just a second what I'm referring to in terms of how I'm just knowing to do this stuff and then make things work. This might be a little too high. I don't know. Actually, no, it'll be just fine. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. If you go up to the quest window right there, boom, build this shape and transform it using the make useful tool. So there we go. We got a windmill just like that. Now, the next objective is one that I have to admit, I don't know how in the world I'm going to do that. Obviously, I've done these before, right? Because I knew what to do right there. I knew to make an oven. I knew to make a windmill. So clearly, I've played this game a little bit. I kind of know what's going on. Look at that. We have 26 seconds worth of fire. 
that's pretty awesome. I'm digging that. Oh, look at that tree. That's a good looking tree right there. I do kind of like that. Big tree. No kidding. That is a big tree. This game isn't going to blow your socks off in terms of triple A visuals. It's not really designed to be like that. This is a randomly generated world. I'm playing on the seed with the very, very egotistical seed name of KIC Gaming. No spaces with a capital G, not a capital K. So I'm kind of looking around. I don't know where anything is. By default, the game will give you a recommended seed that it wants to use. X-T-A-R-E-G, I believe. Various capitalizations in there. I believe the capitalizations matter. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go collect some wind. Because I think that might be a good idea right now. So let's harvest some wind. There we go. We got 13 wind. We're going to bust open our little guy here. And we're going to select our wind. And just like that, we are flying. <laughs> I got to tell you. I am a fan of that. That is pretty darn cool. I mean, you know, if I want to fly, I just switch to my wind and then boom, off we go. But where I really want to know, well, here, let's find out. What about, what happens if I do this? Ah, look at that. I can harvest. Oh no, I'm, am I, am I harvesting or am I using fire? I think I'm using fire. Hmm. That looks like that might've been faster than doing that. I think it was. That is well, that's clever. That's the way it should work, I think. Although, did I actually collect all that wood? I guess I did. I'm not 100% sure there. I think so. But here's the problem, and we'll take a look at it in just a second. Oh, I have run out of power. So, oh yeah, there's still all sorts of wood on the ground I didn't collect. Let's go walk over that. I'm not having to do anything special to pick that up. I'm just walking near it, and then I'm collecting it. Nothing special. It's all fairly straightforward. Okay, there we go. We got a bunch of wood there. The next item on the list is to build a thunder rod. We need to make five iron column blocks. Problem is, I don't know where to get iron from. I haven't the slightest clue. I would wonder if maybe we make it in the oven, but I don't seem to be able to put anything in the oven except for wood. So I would presume then that there is some sort of iron available somewhere, and I'm just not familiar enough with the systems to recognize it but in fairness, that would also mean that it's not terribly obvious because um, being that I've never played this game before, that would be kind of helpful if it were perhaps obvious. Hmm. See, here's where the metal is right there. Iron. We don't have any iron. Can I... Can I make iron? I don't... I don't know. I don't seem to be able to do that. Let me get rid of those items. If I go into my stone, then yeah, I don't I don't know. It's under alchemy, so maybe Hmm. I kind of would like to make some weapons. That would be kind of cool. So this is where I'm a little confused and I don't know how this is supposed to work. Make some planks, fire leaf, that sounds kind of cool. Torch, that would be kind of cool too. Uh, this is the part where it's not obvious, and I'm sure someone out there knows exactly what I'm supposed to do, but unfortunately, I don't. So let's go ahead and run back down to the oven. Let's go collect some more fire, and maybe make a torch or something too, because it is getting a little dark. You know, one thing I will say, just because I kind of have to mention it, this game's not running very well right now. And it's early access. Again, I totally get that, but at the same time, I gotta kind of let you know... It's not running all that greatly right now. Let's, um, I don't want to put all those in there. Can I just do a, a few? There we go. So I can't do anything with my stone here. Nothing else I can interact with. And then if I go over to this guy, I'm sure all I can do is just harvest wind over here. So I have a boatload of wind. But what I don't know is how do I convert that to something else? How do I get metal out of that? Can I get metal out of that? It looks like... See, this is where I, like I said, I just, I don't know. How do I make those columns when I don't have any metal to work with? I have stone. But I don't know how to do anything with it. Hmm. The thing that's interesting, too, I can't seem to make those rock blocks anymore, either. I don't know how I do that now. Remember, that was one of the first things I did. I was able to just, boom, we'll make some rock blocks. It'll all be good. It'll all work out nice and neatly. And instead, I got nothing now. 
Can I make anything? I'm so lost. Sadly, I am lost. Okay. Where did torches go? I remember seeing a torch as an option, don't you? Sand leaf? I thought there were like fire leaves too. Where did all these things go? Huh. Does it matter what tool I'm on, perhaps? If I switch to that, does that change things? Aha, uh -huh, maybe that is the trick. I was on the wrong thing. Black rock, black bricks. Those are not going to be helpful. Can I make... So I need 0.1 fire and 0.4 metal. So can I turn... Aha. Uh -huh. So apparently what I need to do... I guess... Huh. Feigned stone, I don't know. Lava rock, black rock, black bricks, and then black metal. I just, I don't get what I'm supposed to do here. Because I don't have any metal, so how am I... I don't understand what in the world I'm supposed to be doing here. I am just so hopelessly lost. There's a sign. Okay. Leaf. See, there are all these options that I didn't have before. Okay, well, for the moment, since it's probably going to get dark here, let's go ahead and plant a torch, I guess. How does... Now, do I have to hit that with fire to, to light that sucker up? I don't know. Hmm. Sure doesn't seem like it. <laughs> I got stone out of that. I don't know how that worked. What about if we harvest this with metal? Or with fire, rather? No, you're still just going to pick up stones. I mean, that seems to be fairly useful for harvesting. That's good. All right, let's harvest some more fire here, because clearly I need more fire. Need more fire! Give me fuel, give me fire. Give me that which I desire. Where do I find metal? How do I make metal? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing here? All right, well, it seems like my torches are working now. I don't know what I did differently. Um, apparently, I took them off my menu. Where did they go? Oh, man. I don't know what in the world is going on. Okay, where did they go? They were... I thought they were under fire. So do I need to... There they are. All right, so... See, I'm, I'm trying to take breaks here and figure out what in the world is going on. Okay, so it doesn't work over there, but this one is burning. So why is that one working, but these ones aren't? I, I don't understand. That one works. That one works. That one works. But some of these others are just not working. Hmm. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, I picked it up anyway. Yeah, I haven't the slightest clue what I'm supposed to do to get metal at this point. I'm going to have to figure that one out, apparently. Because, uh... Until I can get some metal, we can't actually move on any further. That's kind of a sticking point at this stage of the game. I mean, we can take one last look at the oven here. And I cannot put anything into the oven. Aside from... I can put, you know, trees into the oven, which is cool. That's helpful, I guess. But that apparently is all I can do, so... Uh, nope, not that one. We don't want to go flying. And I seem to have lost my plain Jane gathering tool, too, so... Here, if I get rid of all that stuff, can I go back to... Have I run out of power? Is that the problem? Am I out of ability to uh, collect this stuff on my own? It sure feels like I am, might be, because... Unless... Hmm, no. Why, why won't you go... Oh, because I didn't do that, that's why. That was my mistake there. Got it. 
Yeah, and I don't I don't know what's going on here. Now I can't harvest this stuff. I guess maybe that one I placed? I don't know. Why there it goes. Ah! I don't know what's going on. I don't know why that torch won't light up. I don't know why I can't find any metal. I just plain don't know what's going on. And it's weird that when I do that I got I got a, a, a stone instead of a torch or wood. That's that is interesting, but we're going to have to call it an episode right here, and uh, I'm going to play around with it a little more and see if I can figure out what's going on, because I would actually like to show a little more of this game. If only I could figure out what in the world I'm doing wrong, because I haven't the slightest clue. But I'll catch you on another one. Until then, thanks for watching. See you later.